Hi everyone, my name is Jan Melisondra and by using limited colors in my palette, I am going to teach you on how to paint this wonderful painting and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Before I'm going to start the tutorial, I'm going to introduce to you first the materials that I'm going to use. So I still be using limited colors in my palette and I have the titanium white, the tallow blue, the brilliant red, the medium yellow, and the raw umber. So I'm using limited colors case because I want you to learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. And if you're using burnshina, that's okay guys. You just have to mix it with red and blue to make it dark or look like black. And I also recommend burnt umber if you have. That will be almost similar to raw umber. Okay. okay, so these are my brushes and I'll be using number 11 nylon flat brush, number 11 bristle flat brush, number 8 um, um, nylon flat brush, number 7 nylon flat brush short handle. I also have here the number 4 nylon flat brush um, short handle. Okay, so I think I'll be using also the number one liner brush for details. You can also use zero, triple zero, or triple zeros. Okay, that's all. So this is my canvas. It's um, 10 by 8 inches. It's a three cuts of prime white acrylic. You can also use gesso. I made it myself. And I'll be using water spray if ever we're gonna need to spray. Your canvas and you can have a smoother surface. And of course, guys, let's not forget the water to thin the paint. Okay, that's it. So I'm going to start now, and today I'm going to paint ferns. So this will be an easy tutorial, guys. It's just a basic tutorial on how to paint realistic ferns. And I'm going to paint some um, some dried leaves here. On this part and some ferns on the top so that will be my plan and I think we're gonna start now and first we need to use the number 11 flat brush and let's paint the background color first with the uh, whatever background we're gonna have <laughs> okay so I'm going to use the blue and the yellow Paint it here. All you have to do, to do, guys, is just enjoy the moment. So here, it's a little bluish in color. So let's assume that the, the background is a forest. There will be lots of greens or trees or whatever. I will also add some reddish color or some autumn. Or whatever cliffs, soils, or whatever in the background. So we just have to play it there. Okay. And also some yellows there. And some greens. So observe, guys, uh, how I play the paints on the canvas. I'm gonna make some blue color and some white. And I'm gonna make some darker backgrounds like this purple. Yes. So I uh, just mix the blue and the red. Okay, let's put some yellow to uh, add some yellow stone. No, I mean, sorry guys, it's yellow, <laughs> not blue. Okay, here. Yeah. So 
so let's just spread the colors here all the paints there and let's now use some dark tones so I, I'll be using the blue and the raw umber this will become also like you can also use the pure raw umber I'm going to put a rock here, just a small rock. You know, this part will be some dried leaves. Okay, so let me put a little blue on there, on this. Okay. So let's fill the entire part here with the dark color, the dark tones. Okay. 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 That's it. Yeah, and I think we're gonna let it dry first for at least five minutes. Then we're gonna go back adding more details in it because it's still so wet. Okay. Okay, guys. So I think the paint is already dry now, and let's start adding the details. Okay, so it's already dry. So I I I let it dry for at least five minutes. Okay. So I'll be using some yellow and raw umber and red so this will be some dried leaves there yeah you just have to paint some random um, brown colors on the ground so I also add some here orange but I'm going to put it put some raw umber there So this will be some dried leaves. That's it. Now just clean your brush and going to use some yellow and blue and white. More yellow. And let's put something here. There. Some lighter um yellow green and I also want to add some um, little orange color so I'm gonna use some white and white yellow raw umber and red I'm going to put some yellow there. so here yeah. so this will also some dry leaves on the ground you can use the tapping or pouncing technique. I'm gonna make it a little darker. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna add some raw umber. Ok 
Okay, that's it. Now let's start adding some random um, random ferns. So I'm gonna use the blue, the red, and some yellow. There. I'll be using the number eight flat brush. And let's put some random ferns here on the background. There. That's it. So I'm going to blend a little here on the lighter part. Put more yellow and blue. So again guys, just make it a little abstract. You don't have to worry if, if that looks like a fern or not. Just want to make this part a little. Wait, it's out of focus. Okay. Just want to make this part a little darker. With some shades also. So I'll be using some dark tones here. Yellow and blue and white. So let's paint another frames in the background. So you can use the tapping or punching technique. There. There. Okay. And also here, just yes, just stop tapping or bouncing technique. There I go. create some random leaves of ferns so I am using the lighter yellow green color I'll make this part a little lighter touch it and also let's not forget to add I'm going to use some blue and yellow again and this will be a rock here so let's put some moss or yeah yeah some green moss here so again you can use the tapping or punching technique you can actually use the bigger the, the fill uh, the, the bristle brush this one so I'll be using more greens yeah to create uh, some textures that's it Okay, 
So we'll just follow what I'm doing, guys. Okay, so let's continue. So I'll be mixing some blue, more blue here, and red, and another white. There, it will be some solid rock. That's it. It will be a little gray, yes? <coughs> The the color is a little grayish, guys. Okay. So we can use the tapping or punching. There. Also do this part. I will be adding some raw umber. Okay, so it is just it looks like it looks like now uh, some random rock. Okay. And now it's gonna put the uh, fern here, it's gonna be a big fern. And I will be using another brush, which is the number 7 flat brush. And I will be using this raw umber and mix it with the existing brown and white. So, I'm going to put the first fern here. There. Another one here. If ever you're having a hard time using this number seven flat brush, you can use a smaller brush. It is the it is the number one liner brush. Okay, so I'm going to put some roots out of the fern there. And let's not forget to add some dark tones, so I'm using this raw umber and blue to create some dark to paint to add more dark tones here. Okay, so I'll be using the blue and the yellow. So let's add some yellow first. No, here. And some white. So let's now create the leaves of the fern. using the number 7 flat brush so here so I'm gonna make it a little bigger there just uh, paint it one by one
So let's see if we can get a little bigger. Okay. And also over here. So again guys, do it one by one. Paint each of the leaves. You got some white. nice and also on the on the other side there And also I'm going to put another one here and I'll, I'll be using this brown again there So let's spin the stocks, okay? And let's use again this green color, get some white, make it lighter green. Again, guys, the same technique. And also here. Okay. Yeah. And now let's start adding the highlights, which is the most important part here. But I will use a smaller brush. I'll be using the number four flat brush here. So I'm going to add some more white to add the highlights. I'm going to add some more yellow. Make sure it's lighter than the background color. And let's put a, um, a leaf here in front of the ferns. Okay, so here it's gonna put.
Let's do it a little extra careful guys Okay There Just do it a little careful and also this one here I'm gonna put Okay. And also here we're gonna put one more. So just put it on top of the existing color guys if you want to put the highlights like what I'm doing. here yeah but that then you're gonna use some white or lighter green color so let's add more highlights on this that I think I like the result so far and let's paint the, the stock here Now let's add more highlights on the on the background here. So I'll be using the bigger brush, which is the I'm going to use this um, flat brush. And more yellow. Um, it's more on yellow queen. So. Uh, you can use the tapping or punching to add more light on this part. Okay. 
Okay, and also here. Just put it on the top of the green color, guys. There. This will be some Moses on the on the rock. So some I'll be using this again the the number seven flat brush and going to mix for a little bluish and white with some red and yellow. To add highlights on the um parts of the rocks there let me get a little greenish or with some reddish or orange Now let's um, add some highlights on the dried leaves. Now I'll be using, so again, I'll be using the same brush, but I'll be mixing some orange, so yellow and red. And of course, white to make it lighter. Paint some dried leaves here. There. This will be some highlights, so I'm gonna make it a little darker. I'm gonna add more red. So just paint it randomly guys, whatever that comes to your mind. 
that will be fine. It. Now let's add some dark tones. So I'm gonna use the raw umber here. Some yellow. Some raw umber. There. So this raw umber guys will create the uh, shades and shadows. So if you are painting with me, just follow what I'm doing and do not forget to enjoy while you are painting. There. And I'm going to add some more white to create the highlights. More highlights. So here. I'm going to make it a little reddish. It. You don't have to make it um, specific, guys. So I'm adding more shades. So I'm gonna use this blue and raw umber. Let's add more dark tones there. Some more dark tones using this color. There. 
then let's add some white on this there it will be a little gray yes need some yellow okay there let's put some gray yes uh, let's this leaves leaves that are not exposed to lights so we're gonna put that there color should be a little gray yes there I'm going to add more white So as you can see, the, this part is a little is exposed with the lights, with the highlights. There, I like it. And of course, we should not forget this part here. I'm going to put some highlights there. So I'll, I'll be mixing some. Reduce, reduce orange again red yellow and a little white and raw umber there it's gonna put more put some yellow I'm gonna put some light here more okay and using this we're going to create uh, some highlights I think I'm gonna make it a little greenish so let me mixing it here yeah so far I love the result it's very nice and you can see clearly that the leaves the ferns or whatever okay yeah so uh, I think guys I am done with this very simple and easy tutorial on how to paint ferns with some dry leaves on the ground so yeah so uh, I hope you get something out of this and I hope you learn you learn something on this tutorial and if you are painting me just follow what I'm doing guys and and just enjoy while you're painting my advice keep on practicing keep on painting the more you do it the more you know how to use your brush the more you know how to mix the colors so I'm using limited colors in my palette because I want you to learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want okay guys thank you so much please hit like and some comments subscribe for more videos in your future once again guys thank you have a nice day and God bless you all